We've been exposing Detroit's illegal dumping problem. Neighbors forced to live next to piles of trash are getting increasingly fed up. Our very own Ronnie Dahl talked with one lady who busted the guy right in the act. And after Ronnie got involved, that was just the beginning of his problems. Call it karma. A man backs his truck into this lot about to dump some construction debris. But before he could do his dirty deed, he gets stuck and the neighbors are watching. We're tired of all the mess. We're just trying to make our neighborhood look better, you know. Getting their neighborhood to look better has been a battle. We've been telling you about the massive illegal dumping that has been taking place on Cabot Street in southwest Detroit. City crews have been out to start clearing the lots. Neighbors started taking down burned out structures by hand. So when a guy pulled up Thursday night with a truckload of construction debris, Jennifer Rabor wasn't going to do nothing. I yelled out to him. I said, hey, you don't plan on dumping that stuff there, do you? And he was like, nope, no, ma'am, sure not. To make sure he didn't, she stood watch from her back deck. That's when she noticed the truck couldn't get out. They were stuck. So then I yelled out, well, what's it feel like to have karma smack in your face? Jennifer snapped pictures as the would-be dumpers had to be pulled out of the muddy mess. Get, end up dumping, they tore out of here, wheels squealing and everything. And it's not fair to the seniors who are trying to stay. Paulette Botts lives next door to Jennifer. She takes pride in her property and has a message to the people using their neighborhood as a trash can. Shame on anybody who brings their garbage to our neighborhood. We're not taking it to yours. Unfortunately, neighbors weren't able to get a clear picture of the man's license plate number, but they want him and others to know Take your trash elsewhere. This neighborhood is off limits. In Southwest Detroit, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News.